Yo, what's good guys, Austin here, and if you're a Windows user, you probably noticed that little upgrade icon in your toolbar for Windows 10. But the main question is, should you upgrade? Actually, this time, yeah. Here's some reasons why. Cortana. Cortana is a digital assistant that lives right in the heart of Windows 10. Yes, there are similar services on other mobile platforms, but this is the only one that is available on a laptop or a desktop. Once you open it up, it gives you personalized info based on your location and settings, and it works with a bunch of the new Windows apps like Mail, Calendar, and even Maps. You can search for files, set up reminders, open apps, and look for stuff online, but the best thing about it is its voice activation feature. Hey Cortana, open Mail. Okay, here's Mail. Hey Cortana, who's your daddy? Technically speaking, that'd be Bill Gates. No big deal. The main addition with Cortana is simply the fact that search results on your computer are way better than they ever have been before and you can find anything and do anything that you needed to do that much quicker. Microsoft Edge. If you're anything like me, just out of habit, the first thing you did whenever you got a new PC was to go online and install a new web browser. Well, soon you probably won't have to. Microsoft Edge is a complete retooling of Internet Explorer. It's built from the ground up. It has a fresh new design that really blends with the Windows 10 theme, and it brings over some cool features like being able to save snapshots of web pages and annotate over them, and even pull up information using Cortana. Oh yeah, and according to benchmarks, it's fast. It's actually probably faster than the browser you're using right now, but it's still very much a work in progress. For example, it doesn't support browser extensions or other small things like dragging files directly into your browser. They actually included the last version of Internet Explorer in case you need to use that for some reason. It's not the perfect browser just yet, but it's actually pretty solid and it's only going to get better. Task View and Action Center. The improvements they made here are a godsend. Finally, we have virtual desktops. Windows 10 has what they're calling a task view, which not only lets you see all of your apps, but also lets you add additional desktops. They also added snap assist. Now you could always snap windows to either side of the screen, but they make it easier by automatically bringing up your other open apps if you want to snap another one. It's a small addition, but it's useful. Another cool feature they added is Action Center. It's nothing incredibly fancy, but it gives you access to common settings on your computer and it connects with apps like Mail and Facebook and gives you updates there. It's basically a notification for all of your apps, a really nice addition. Well, that's assuming that you care that four of your Facebook friends have a birthday tomorrow. Xbox integration. They included some pretty dope integration through this Xbox app. First of all, you can stream games from your Xbox One to your PC. All you need is an Xbox One controller hooked up to your computer and you're good to go. Now, I'm not a huge gamer myself, but apparently there's virtually no lag when you're doing this either. So you can straight up play AAA games right on your tablet or your laptop. It's crazy. Also, it's really easy to share clips too. There's an included game DVR in the Xbox app that allows you to record gameplay without needing any third party software. Actually, you can record in any app, which is extremely useful and the start menu. Last but definitely not least, the start menu. It's back and it's better than ever. It's no longer a full screen menu, unless you want it to be, but instead a resizable menu of window tiles and quick shortcuts and settings. This is probably what it should have been in Windows 8. You get quick access to recently used apps, the file explorer and power controls, and then you also get the extra information displayed by your live tiles. It's a really great blend of the old and new and addresses probably the biggest complaint of Windows 8. Honestly, there isn't even that much to say here. It's back and it feels so good. I I'm sorry, I, I need a moment. So those are my top five features of the newly released Windows 10, but I'm sure I missed some like Continuum, Windows Hello, DirectX 12. So be sure to let me know your favorite new features down in the comments. Anyways, hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.